Richard Simmons has been a hero to thousands of Weight Watchers across the world, dedicating his life to helping people maintain a healthy diet and workout plan. And his devoted followers would love to thank him, but they can't. The fitness celebrity reportedly hasn't been seen by even his closest friends for years. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. Keep those legs going, come on. Richard Simmons, yeah, evangelist, showman, guru, went into the oldies for decades. Hold that stuff again. His signature, short shorts, tank top, and a smile. <laughs> Simmons doled out love. Hit me with your you know? best shot. And he doled out weight loss advice to everyone he met. I gotta lose some weight. Don't eat in the car. That's no, number I don't one. Do that. Some Sean Fain Simmons it? embraced it. Oh my God. Always accessible, omnipresent. Then, in early 2014, just months after that Thanksgiving appearance, Simmons suddenly vanished, retreating behind the walls of his West Hollywood home. Bereft fans asked why, and totally unsubstantiated conspiracies swirled. Let's discuss the two main theories at that time. Now, three years later, Simmons still out of the spotlight, and his disappearance from public life is the subject of the number one iTunes podcast, Missing Richard Simmons. I'm Dan Tabersky. Three years ago to the day, Richard Simmons completely and inexplicably stopped being Richard Simmons. And I want to find out why. I met him in 2012. I wanted to tell his story way before any of this happened. The fact that he disappeared like he did just kind of made it more urgent. Dan Tabersky, a one-time producer for The Daily Show, one of many who got hooked on the free Whelan Slimmons workout became friends with the fun-loving fitness fanatic. Super foul-mouthed and hilarious and um, rude uh, in a really funny way. And he tells amazing stories. Uh, he cries every class. Come on, this is for you! Tversky was looking for answers. After about a year, a year and a half, um, I started talking to people. Nobody was just thinking, ah, he's fine, he's just taking some time off. Nobody thought that. February 15th, 2014. Simmons didn't show up to teach his regular class, his students, bewildered. It was like 11.35, looking at the clock. We were like, okay, now he's five minutes late. This is Ava and Loretta. They're twins. Everyone calls them the double time twins. Yeah. And then it got to like, it was like 12.05, and we were just like, okay, what I don't is know happening? if Richard's coming. And then people started leaving, leaving, and then someone ended up subbing for him. November last year, his studio doors closed for good. Richard Simmons opened this place, Slimmons in Beverly Hills, in 1974. And he used to say in class that he opened it because other gyms in Los Angeles didn't really want overweight people. For Simmons, all shapes and sizes, everyone welcome. Not only did he stop teaching. One day, he stopped returning my emails and my phone calls. I kind of thought, well, that stinks. Um, that's a drag. Uh, and then I realized he wasn't calling anybody or emailing anybody. For David Garcia, who lost 160 pounds sweating to the oldies, same deal. The last time I saw Richard was here in this building uh, in early February 2014. It snowballed and people started, started speculating all over the place. In a phone call to NBC last March, Simmons insisted he's fine. You haven't seen the last of me. I'll come back and I'll come back strong. It was unusual that it was only a phone call. Uh, and not in person. Today, Simmons, publicist of 27 years, told us we didn't cooperate nor collaborate with this podcast. The truth is that Richard is fine and willingly enjoying his life outside the spotlight while still working behind the scenes to help those millions who desperately need his love and assistance. These unfounded attempts to diminish the legacy of this true American treasure are simply shameful. Nightline's Chris Connolly profiled Simmons in 2009, taking us inside his West Hollywood home where Simmons would personally call those across the country struggling to lose weight. This is um, Mary Faith, and she began at 375 pounds and now at 169. Hey, it's Richard Simmons calling. How are you? Sometimes he'd do this dozens of times a day, not trying to sell them anything, except the value of diet and exercise. How many times have I personally told you how terrific you are? I know. How many? How many? Millions! Yes, we love Simmons for his enthusiasm. Yes, of course, his exercise videos and over-the-top TV appearances here on CNN's American Morning. I love Richard Simmons. Thank you. You are... <laughs> but it's his genuine love, his sincere vocation, his hidden largesse that make him a true legend. I don't have to work anymore. 
I don't have to make a phone call anymore. I don't have to do one more leg lift. This is my passion and this is my mission. But despite his extroverted public persona, his personal life has always been a little solitary. Do I get lonely sometimes? Sure, you're on the road and you're on the road for X amount of days and you're not home. My dogs and my housekeeper who I live with, you know, I'm very attached to them. They're my, my, my sturdiness in my life. When was the last time you were in love? I don't think I'm in love with the person as much as I'm in love with what I do. No one should feel sorry for Richard Simmons because I think I'm one of the most loved people in the whole world. Yes, there's a lurid tabloid fascination, but also now a genuine concern. Dan Taberski, with his chart-topping podcast, says he just wants answers. He's an interesting, gentle guy. And I think that's part of why people like him, and I think that's part of why people are worried about him now, because you sort of feel that sensitivity, and you sort of feel he's got a vulnerability. So far, the podcast has explored the questions and conspiracies. I'm here to talk about Dalmatians. And this brings us to Richard Disappearance Theory number two, the dog theory but found no evidence or answers. This isn't a witch hunt. Like, I just wish him well. I haven't talked to anybody who thinks Richard Simmons is fine. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Beverly Hills. If you're a podcast fan, make sure to subscribe to our ABC podcast from Dan Harris, Robin Roberts, Rebecca Jarvis, John Carl, Ethan Nightline. You can find all of our podcasts on iTunes, the ABC News app, or at abcnewspodcast.com.